and I'd like to share a re recent trip that I took to Rwanda. This is actually my fifth trip uh, to the country, uh, but in some ways the most impactful. And uh, these trips have been part of what we do with the Valmar Global Gift Fund. So Global Gift Fund is a fund that Valmark set up and we contribute a portion of our profits every year to some really, really worthwhile charities. This year we gave a significant amount to help refugees in the Ukraine resettle. We hosted a camp for disabled kids with a rotary. We fund a number of schools for disadvantaged kids. Uh, but some of the work that we do is hands-on. So yes, we're helping financially, but we're also going and meeting the people. And for me, that's the most impactful part about it. A friend of mine, Roger Emerson, said, did you know that Kent State's starting a, a campus in Rwanda? So I contacted uh, the head of international campuses for Kent State, Dr. Marcello Fontoni, originally from Siena, Italy, and got to meet him, and he says, you've got to meet Pacifique. Pacifique is the young person that uh, Kent State has chosen to head up and build this campus in uh, Rwanda. So I met Pacifique, um, and I met Pacifique's adopted parents, and here's Pacifique's story. So Pacifique uh, was an orphan of the genocide um, on the uh, eastern side of uh, the country of Rwanda and this incredible priest uh, Father John came back to Rwanda when the genocide started to help his family and when he got back there he couldn't fly to Rwanda he had to fly to another country walk across the border he got back to his village and found that he had lost his entire family um, he had $90 in his pocket, and God just impressed on him, you know, he needed to do something with that. So he started taking care of some of the orphans, including Pacifique. And kind of like the fishes and loaves, Pastor John said, God just kept providing for him. And it, soon it was 21 orphans. And Pastor John would come to the United States, and he, he came to Hudson, Ohio, to raise funds for his orphanage and school. And uh, Mike and Jill, who live in Hudson, Ohio, decided to adopt a, a child sight unseen from Rwanda, uh, Pacifique. And they put him through um, college and then graduate school and has now chosen to go back to the country of Rwanda to um, help create this campus for Rwandans to uh, get a college degree. One little personal story. Um, my son Lance, who's been to Rwanda now five times himself, has uh, just this little girl that started following him around, um, Olive. She showed up every morning, was with us all the time. And uh, Lance is, is saying, um, you know, thinking about Olive being able to go to high school and uh, maybe even being a golden flash. These students were just, they loved the experiences that we had in meeting the people and seeing some of the work that Valmark has done over the years. We have uh, built a high school in uh, Rwanda. We're working on a hospital and all kinds of microfinance. So it's, it's fun. We did a sports camp with, with kids and uh, did coaching with uh, soccer and gave away soccer balls and soccer shoes. Um, and people, when we got back together every night after being out and about, um, the thing was not about how we were helping the people of Rwanda, but it had way more to do with what we observed in the Rwandans and something that we could take back. And for those who don't know about Rwanda, it's, it's a country that 25 years ago had a genocide where neighbors killed neighbors and a million people died in a 90-day period. 
and it had become the worst, most dangerous country in Africa. So 25 years later, seeing this country thriving and people making a better life for their family and working with their neighbors is inspiring, not only to think about what can happen in the third world, but what we can bring back here in America. And I think every single person on that trip came back with a new sense of gratitude uh, for what we have here and also observing people who are so happy with seemingly so little. Abundance comes not from the things that we possess, but the gratitude for those things that we've been given. I think that's what each student came back, and I've been in contact with many of these students, and to a person, they all have said this is one of the most transformational things they've done in their young lifetime. So I, I look forward to being able to continue to do this, taking Valmark Firms, other friends, uh, now our new friends from Kent State, 